YouTube, Austin Boy here. Um, I know it's been a while, I haven't created a lot of tutorials, but I'm um, deciding to come back and show you a couple, you know, maybe get us a couple suggestions and start making tutorials again because, you know, I kind of miss it. So, since it's been a while and no one probably knows, like, what's going on, but I'm starting back up. This is tutorial number five and it's on elevators. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you the first elevator, which is made by Hydraulics. The second one, which is made by Winch. And the third one that's made with thrusters. And that's supposed to be it. There should only be three elevators. One, two, three. Well, what's this one? Hmm. I don't know. We'll get back to that one later on. I think this is a special kind of elevator. Oh yeah, I'll show you that one later. Alright, so our first elevator is basic. You just press the button, goes up. Click it again, goes down. Amazing, right? Alright, what you would do first is you would spawn a little block, just like this. Pop it up, maybe about high enough to walk under it. You're gonna um, we're kind of doing this old-fashioned way. There's better ways to this, but you know, you're gonna pop out your slider tool. Once you pop out your slider tool, you're gonna click right in the middle of that block, look straight down, click on the ground, boom. It's that easy. Now you got this thing that runs on a straight, well, almost straight. Since we use the sketchy way, it's kind of diagonal, but that's all right. So we're gonna lift it up to about here, maybe here. And then we're going to actually a little bit higher. We're going to go back in. We're going to click our hydraulics tool. We're going to set the up key or the just in general key to seven. And we're going to click right where we clicked before, and then right there, right down on the ground, same area. It's going to float like this. And when you press seven, it's going to go up. You press seven again, it's going to go down. Now, in order to make it like that. All you do is spawn a prop that you want to use to put the button on, make it upright, pop it on your elevator, weld it, pop out a button tool, pick the button model you want, and then set it to the key you set it to, which is 7. Pop it on there. Unlock everything, get on top of it, click the button, boom, go up, click the button again, boom, go down. It's amazing, right? That's one elevator. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is called a winch. Now, you notice that all the ropes are kind of floating down and stuff like that, and it's because basically you're telling the ropes to shrink or enlarge. So when I press 2, it's going to tighten the strings and and therefore pick up the elevator. Now when I press 1, it's going to drop it down. Now see, the only elevator I recommend is this one because it's easy, it's simple. It goes up, it goes down, doesn't have any glitches. You can put props under it so it doesn't do this. And um, this one, when you send it down, it just kind of drops. And then same with this one too. I'll show you that one later. So when you get on top of this, it's kind of cool. You get on top of it, press two, lifts you up. Yeah, press one, drops you down. Now, you can put buttons on these too, but I won't go that far. I will actually, I'm going to show you how to make this. So you pop one square down on the ground actually all the way on the ground and you pop out your stacker tool just to make it a little easier you can do it the slow way and just spawn a square above it but you know we don't want to go through that trouble so we're going to take a stacker tool we're going to set it to world up and then we're going to change the distance to whatever we want maybe like 200 maybe 300 
All right, do 300. That's good, that's good. 300, and then we're going to set a sliding right in the middle of both of them. And since they're stacked, they're precisely right on. So you're gonna pull out your sliding tool. You're gonna pop one right in the middle of the top one and right in the middle of the bottom one. What that does is that it makes this go on a straight line straight to it. Just like that. Never leaves it. You can't go right. You can't go left. Just it's perfect. Now you would think you'd just get on and hey look I'm going up. Not. You see these red lines right here? I only made them noticeable so that you would know what I was doing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the winch tool and we're going to make the rope width zero. And you go from corner to corner. Once you get corner to corner, you can do middle. Now the reason we do all four corners is because this square right here, it's going if you put it in the middle it's going to wobble around because it's not equal to what you put on there um i think i did this because i didn't have a slider on it at first but you i guess you don't really have to do the corners if you have a slider because it's going to go in one fluent motion anyways so then again you get on top of it you press two lifts you up press one drops you down Okay, here's the third one. Third elevator, I would never recommend. What you do is you would spawn a square on the bottom again. You spawn a square on top of it. Most likely, or recommended, you stack it. So once you stack it on top, you just... Um, obviously, you stack it a little bit higher, like, like this distance right here. And then just pop a sliding right in the middle so that it stays on track with that one on the bottom. And then on each corner you put a thruster. I'm saying about 300 beca only because this block right here and you on top of it. So the thing is, is that this one is crap. Because first of all, when you let go of the button to thrust, it just drops automatically. And to go down, you would just back down. And... um. I wouldn't recommend this at all unless you have something stopping the elevator somehow but overall this is what would happen so you'd be like mm -hmm, stop hurry get off oh, doesn't work so yeah you go up oh didn't make it and then whoa what's going on okay anyways so those are the three elevators. You can use either one. They're both pretty, or either one of them. I would recommend using the first one, obviously, because that's the easiest to make, and it's you know, you know, it's easy. That's it. And then, um, oh yeah, the fourth one. The fourth one I wouldn't recommend because you may get banned from some servers using it. And uh, it goes a little something like this. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, you get the point. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you learn your the three top basic elevators. And I'm sure there's going to be people saying, oh, there's more ways to make elevators. Well, yeah, I don't care. Because these are the three basic ways to making an elevator. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you uh, want to suggest something for a future tutorial, uh, put that in the comment too. And um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Out.